You know, it was going to be a tough day to play with the weather the way it was and, um, you know, with the wind blowing. And, and then, of course, late in the ball game, you got the wind changing direction and blowing out, but um, tight strike zone. Um, you know, it was, it was fair, but it was tight. And so uh, both teams knew that, uh, you know, they could box up the zone and, and try to get good swings off. And that's what you saw. I mean, you saw an offensive day. We landed struggled with his command in the first inning and and then again in the second. You know, he's got two walks in both innings and you know, we didn't make them earn a whole lot the first couple of innings, uh, the first four runs they got. And um then Blake came in, had a solid inning for us. I thought he threw the ball well in the third and and got the fourth started okay. He's just throwing the ball fairly well and then, you know, makes a mistake with two strikes, gives up a three run homer. Um and then I thought, uh, you know, Mintz came in and got he got us through about four outs and uh, did a decent job for us. And he needed to get on the field. You know, we the more we get him out there, the better he's going to be. And um, but the two at the end, you know, Bruno and, and Morgan were outstanding for us. And uh, guys kept putting their bats together, and we found a way to work our way back in it. I thought, you know, Brooks and Kep had really solid days offensively, and um, yeah, you know, we didn't play great again defensively. We, you know, we got a couple errors on back picks and and then a ground ball, but um, we will continue to get better. Uh, we just have to eliminate some of those little errors that uh, unforced errors, and. I think our, our young guys were a little bit more relaxed today and, and were able to slow the game down much better today than they did uh, yesterday, opening day. So just a question kind of to add on to that. You said um, that there were certain uh, reasons for the slow start defensively in pitching. Do you think it was more pitching that was causing them to score more, or do you think it was issues in the field? Like, like field uh, plays or you know, we just – Landon struggled with his, with his command, and, and you know it's tough to play behind um, when you're running a lot of deep counts. Um, you know the balls that we made mistakes on, the, the couple of batted balls we made mistakes on. Those, those are balls that they'll they'll make those plays uh, nine times out of ten, and you know we just didn't stay at, stay down on on a couple of plays today. And then the other mistakes were you know back pick and another throwing error and. Uh, We'll clean those up as we go as well. And it seemed like whenever one guy would have, either you saw with the home run, sparked hits from other guys after that, do you think that that's even more um, relevant kind of when it's a young guy, like a freshman like Baldwin, who steps up and makes a big play like that? I think it sparks everybody else? Or? I think guys get excited, yeah. um, no matter who it is, really. But um, with some of our young guys, uh, I think our – Upperclassmen and even our sophomores feel, you know, they understand how much work the young players have put in, just like they have, and you know, they want them to find success uh, as much as anybody else. Uh, hitting's contagious, you know. If you get it going, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's freshman or senior. You know, you get things going. Hopefully, guys will begin to put some bats together, and you can roll a crooked number up from time to time, which we were able to do, I guess, about three or four times today. Yeah, and then just one more thing. So going forward and taking the three games that we just played into account, what positives do you want to try and build on in these next few games coming up, and what do you hope to see the team cut out in terms of like negatives? I want to continue to build on the competitiveness on the mound. I think the majority of the guys that have been out there have really competed um, and competed in the zone. Uh, and had a had a plan and a feel for what they were trying to get done, and a feel for what their stuff's doing that day. Um, offensively, you know, we're just much better approach today. Uh, the back end of last night's game, and it kind of carried over to today. And hopefully, we'll continue to to learn how we approach each situation and, and what kind of plan each guy has. And, um, and we'll improve on that aspect of it. But the defensive part, for me, should be the most consistent part. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little tougher to be consistent offensively because there's other factors, like the guy on the mound and yeah. 
you know, you're seeing different looks every day, but the defensive part is the part that, that we've really got to bear down on and, and try to make some progress with. With some of those errors, you mentioned nine times out of ten, the guys are going to turn those plays. How, how do you maybe not harp on it so much? Maybe, or do you not harp on it a ton earlier on the season to hurt their confidence, or is that something you address, try to nip it in the bud moving forward? How do you just talk that? about, you know, just sometimes you don't say anything because they know, you know. Uh, they know they, they pulled their head up, and, you know, they didn't stay down on the ball or, you know, we took a bad route to a ball or whatever, but you know we just continue to remind them, and and the reminder is more during our practice time, uh, not so much at game time. Uh, you know, at game time, most of the reminders are, you know, about more mental aspects and and where you are and being in the right place. Um, but as far as fielding and throwing. You don't say a whole lot about that during the course of the game. You get to the next pitch, next play, and that's what we, yeah, that's what we talk about. And the better teams across the country, are, they do the same thing. You know, you make a mistake. I got to get to the next play. If you're still worried about what you just did, then you're not in the moment, and you're not prepared to make the next play or the next pitch, or it carries over from, you know, you carry it from defense to offense, and then. It affects your at bat. And the same thing from bat at bats. I can't carry those defensively. 